Hey there, this is Kristen with K Design Co. And today I'm going to show you how to create a contact form inside of your show up website. So the example I'm going to give today is actually using one of my templates from my shop, um, the Becca template, but you can do the same process for any template, um, free or paid, um, that you get from show it or any other um, person who is selling show it templates. So I'm going to navigate to the page that I want to create my contact form on. Um, this template actually already comes to the contact form, but this is just kind of a quick um, tutorial. So you can do this on your own. And I'm going to use this general page template as an example. So um, I've navigated to my page and then I'm going to navigate to the canvas where I want to add my contact form. And the first thing you'll need to do is increase the size of the height of the canvas so that you'll have room for your um, for your contact form. Okay, so that's kind of a good place to start. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, a certain perfect height. You can kind of change it as you go as needed. And I will need to do this on mobile and desktop as well, but I will go ahead and do a couple other things first. So. Um, when you are creating contact form, first thing you need to do um, is actually create uh, two canvas views on your canvas. So one is going to be where you have all your contact form fields, and the second one will be your contact form thank you message. So what they will see when they actually submit your contact form. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my view one, which is where my contact form fields will go. And I'm going to start creating the background for my form field. So if I just click on rectangle, it's going to show me a big black box. I don't want my contact form to be a black box, but I can adjust the size and I can make it match um, this text box up here. So it's 860, it's closed. I'll just use that to change the size and also send out my page. And then I'll change the color. You can make it whatever fits your brand. And then I'm also going to just rename it form field background. So I know it's not just a plain old rectangle. And this is going to be the base for all my form fields. So I'm going to do the same thing on mobile um, to just kind of get my base style started for my form fields. And then once I have that for both mobile and desktop, I will copy and paste. Um, so I don't have to format them all multiple times. So it looks like 260 is my text box up here. So I will match that same size and center it. Again, change my color to something I like. And that looked pretty good to me. So now I'm going to go ahead and just turn on desktop only for a minute and copy and paste. So I'm going to hit command C for Mac users and I believe it's control c for windows so command v to get that same and do it three times so it's always going to paste on top of itself um, so if you're wondering where it went um look look on exactly top of the one that you put at the very top okay and this last box I'm going to increase the size so it's the size more of like a message field and then I'm going to go ahead and grab all of them and hit distribute so the spacing in between is nice and even and one last thing I'm going to do before I hop over to mobile is I'm going to make the sure make sure that the top form field here is also the top of my list so I need to do a little bit of shuffling around it's not a problem just so they correspond and I don't really confuse myself later so it should be top to bottom now and you can tell from when I hover over um, these items on the left it also shows on the right um, with that little blue outline okay so back over to mobile really quick we're going to do the same thing um, except I don't need to copy these out um, I just need to since I already copied, I just need them get them off the top of each other. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just use shift and then hit down at the same time to spread these out a little bit to start with. And I can just go ahead and select this third one, do the same thing, shift and click down. And the second one, I'll do the same thing. This just helps get them off the top of each other. And then I'll drag this one down a little bit more, maybe around here. 
And then if you click and drag, select all of these, again, distribute, you'll get nice even spacing. Okay, and then the last thing I need to do is increase the size of this last text box to be more of a message field. Okay, so now we have our background boxes. I'm gonna go ahead and do our actual input field. So I'm gonna switch back over to the desktop and go ahead and input a paragraph. So paragraph, and then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of margin on all sides. So it's nice and even. And then again, I'm going to rename this to form input so that I know what it is. And then I'm going to add some initial styles here. I'm going to enable input um, under the text properties. I'm also going to make it required. And then I'm also going to change the text tag to a div. Um, that's just more for SEO purposes to tell, um, you know, Google or search engine that this isn't necessarily content on the page. It's kind of um, more for decorative purposes because this is really just going to be a placeholder for whatever um, somebody is inputting on your form. Okay, so now that I have some basic styles on desktop, I'm going to go back over to mobile and do my styles here. It looks like it's hanging out up over top of this text, so I'm just going to do some quick styling with this as well to make sure I have it the way I want it. Again, give it some nice margin in between. So for this um, paragraph, it actually looks like it's a little bit uh, low in the text box, and that's because the line height is a little bit high, so I might change it more to like 1.2 so that it looks more centered, and that looks pretty good to me, and then I can actually do this align to group, and that will even center it more. Perfect. And the last thing I want to do is align it left, so looks like that. Okay, so hopping back over here to desktop, and then I'm going to go ahead and copy this, Command C or Control C and Control V for Windows. Okay, Command C, Command V, and one last time. So this last one, we will drag it out a little bit here. Okay, so now you can go ahead and um, you want to actually reorder your inputs again so that they will match top to bottom and you don't confuse yourself later so we'll go ahead and call this one name we'll call this one email this one will be website and this one will be message so these are the placeholders that will show up when somebody's um, filling out your form and then we want to do a few more settings on these labels. Um, okay, so we've already said that it's an input and that it's required, um, but we also might want to um, either include something in the subject line, or if you're using the email field like I am right here, make sure that you click reply to. And then for all of these inputs, you definitely wanna make sure that you include the label. So the label is the same. Um, you can make it the same as whatever the placeholder is that you've typed there. So just type it in, email, and then hit enter. Make sure you hit enter, otherwise it won't save it. And then last one, message. Good job. Okay, so this is what will show you um, when you receive an email from your um, contact form. It will show you um, the labels for what information was entered. So um, that is all taken care of on that side. And these text properties are shared between mobile and desktop, so you only have to do it once. You don't have to do that same step again over here. Um, but what you will have to do is uh, reassign the, um, or re move, move around these uh, fields. So I'm just using shift and down again to move these down because I know message was on the bottom and I know website was the third one. And if you forget, you can always use the double view. I just like to kind of focus on one thing at a time. Sometimes, oops, put that one back. 
and then you know it's helpful to use the layers panel if you have too many things that are on top of each other and to go ahead and make sure these are all lined up nice you can go ahead and use these positioning buttons and there you go okay so now we have a nice looking form on our mobile and desktop version um, we are missing a few things though we're missing a button and we're also missing a um, thank you message so we will create those next so make sure you're back still back in your view one folder and then you're going to create another rectangle so this will be your button so you can obviously make that whatever size you want and whatever color a nice bright bold color is nice you can put it here there wherever you want um, I'll just put a left align because I think that's nice if you want to make sure it lines up with your other boxes just make sure you hit that button oops didn't mean to click that okay so next you will um, now you have your button you want to add um, a some text for your button so you can just say submit or go you can make something make it say something cute whatever you want I'm just gonna do that maybe I'll just like increase the spacing a little bit obviously you can choose whatever styles fit with your um, brand and theme again I'm just gonna select to drag, drag all those and now I have a nice beautiful button so um, I'm gonna go ahead and drag all of these to the bottom of my form so I understand what I'm looking at and I like to name my elements so I know what they are. Okay, so now that I have all of these things, I'm going to create a click action on this button. I'm also gonna click create one on the text too, um, essentially, but what's going to happen is I'm going to um, create a link to the canvas, this canvas, and I'm going to say canvas view and I'm going to make canvas view two. So that's gonna be our thank you message. And then you're going to wanna make sure that you hit submit contact form. And then what's going to happen when somebody clicks that button, it's going to link them to canvas two. And then it's going to also submit that contact form. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing that I just did. I'm going to do it on the text as well. So that way, whether they're hitting the text directly or the button background, that they have the same action taking place. Perfect. Okay, so now that I have my beautiful form on desktop, again, go back to mobile. Got a little bit of craziness going on here, but we will take care of it. I'll actually make this button the same size as my form field so it's nice and even so I'm going to go ahead and actually look at that 260 by 56 so I can just copy that same size align it centered then change the styles and then go back up here and get my text and pull that down I think I changed the color here too so i'll do that just to make it match and increase the line spacing a little bit so again you can center that and if we need to tweak the line height a little bit again so it's a little bit more centered perfect okay so now i have my nice beautiful form all the settings are set up and the last thing that i need to do is create the view too so we will actually click over to view two and you'll notice the form disappears don't be scared uh it's not gone forever it's just back in the view one folder so you can only view one view at a time um, so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to create another rectangle i'm just going to make a nice box again that's the size of the text box above so it matches center on the page and I'm going to make it that same nice pale blush color. And then here you can pretty much do whatever you want. You do not even have to actually make a box. You could just make a simple um, 
simple paragraph of text. Um, but this is just to show you. Thank you. Um, your message was received. I will reach out to you shortly. Okay, so we have a nice little message here. We can increase the text size here. And maybe I just want to go all in one line. And I want to center it with that. So now what's going to happen is when somebody submits this form, it's going to uh, show them this thank you message. So like I said, you can format this however you want. You can add more text, um, more text boxes if you want, um, have a background or not, have other buttons or other links or anything else inside of this view. Basically anything that you want to show them after they submitted, you can put inside of this view. But if you just want it really simple, it could just be as easy as that, as making a box with text over top. So the last thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and make this um, for mobile. And then I will show you the example, how it works. Hopefully it works. <laughs> it should work. Okay. So again, we'll go ahead and match the same size of the text box. Just make it nice. And then grab our text. Let's go ahead and change the background so we can see the text and then you can change the size of your text box and there you go I'll go ahead and center that up on my page nice and easy okay so now we have we can also rename this if we want uh, background okay so now we have our u1 and our U2. Um, okay, so now one thing I'm going to go ahead and do is preview and make sure that it does what we want it to do. So go ahead and preview your form. Should be able to type in here. So name, email. Hey, this is a test check it out and then hit submit perfect and so it scrolled actually back up to the top of this if I don't want it to do that same behavior um, I can show you how to turn that off um, but you can see now that the thank you message was um, showing up and everything worked the way that it should um, if you don't want that scroll to happen go back to your view one and your submit button and just un unclick scroll to canvas do that on both of those but other than that that should be all that you need to create a contact form and like i said um, you can do this um, for any template on show it and you can also create as many form fields as you want you don't have to create four you can make 10 or two or however many uh, makes sense for your business but Hopefully you found this helpful and if you have any questions or you have any tutorials you'd like to see from me, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you liked this video, please subscribe. Thanks.